there is a load script. You can find that on the Bontech uh, homepage. There is a load and an unload script. That Hi, that was my last video. But honestly, the code and examples that was on the Bontech uh, uh, page was not really good. It didn't even work with, with the Creality uh, printer my under tree and um, well I thought I make my own scripts and I will of course share them with you and give it to you. I made in totally six scripts, uh, three for for upload or load the filament and three to unload and that is for PLA, for flex material and PETG. So why do I have three different scripts? Because we use heat and as an example the flexible material can't run the same fast as uh, PETG and uh, PLA. You can of course extend them to, to other printers than the Ender 3, but they are made for the Ender 3, so you need to, to measure your Bowden tube and then change, I think, if I remember, it's line 11, 12 and 13, you make the changes so it fits with your, with your, um, for your printer. So right now, last I have been printing, um, uh, flexible filament so um, I will unload this and then I will load some PLA that I, I need to use for my my next uh, project. The procedure on unloading is quite simple it will extrude a little bit it's 15 uh, millimeters and then it will um, uh, pull back uh, slowly 50 millimeters and then it goes fast. Um, when I print flexible filament, I have this almost loose, and then I just tighten it down so so there is only a little bit pressure on it. So the codes I have uh, stored on my SD card that I use with my Ender 3, and uh, the download uh, of these scripts are in the description below. So let's start an unload. So I go into the to the SD card and choose a print from from that and there is the unload enter and unload flex it says here. So and it starts to heat up the nozzle to 230 degrees. When that is done it will extrude 15 millimeters and then it will pull back 50 millimeters, re retract uh, 50 millimeters, and then it will run with 1500, uh, F1500 and, and push out the, or take out the, the filament. When that is done, we will load PLA and this will um, this, the, I will show you this when we have unloaded the, the flexible filament. So it is ready to, to extrude a little bit. Here we start. And now, with full speed, flexible is a little bit more difficult, so I also drag it a little bit, so it's, I don't drag, but I help it just by, here we go, and it's out. So, now I will prepare to my PLA, and I will load with my PLA script or code or whatever it's called. But first I will prepare my, my PLA here and uh, I will cut, cut it very straight like this, 45 degrees. And then I make, and it doesn't, you can't do that with flexible materials, at least not with this that is very flexible, but with all the other types of filament, you can make it quite as a line. 
and also be aware that from there and into the dual drive there is 40 millimeters so I take my fingers approximately 40 millimeters because I want to be sure that we are at the dual drive and that we are now so I again go to my SD card and I choose load where am I PLA there and <clears throat> it will heat to 200 degrees the difference when you uh, load compared to unload is when you load the filament here it will come up with two beeps beep beep and then nothing happens after it has been heating the nozzle nothing happens and that's because if you are going somewhere else and uh, and it starts to load immediately after the nozzle is on 200 degrees and it not grips uh, the filament in the beginning then you have to start over again and maybe you don't see how far uh, the filament came into so that's why i want you to stay at the at the printer and to activate the load you need to push the button up. Right. So, 197, almost on 200. Beep, beep. And now it says wait for user, and this means I need to push the button. And you see, we were correct, it's dragging. It's loading perfectly right now. With this color, I can also follow the filament. It's here, it's moving here now, it's going here. And here now it stops and it starts to extrude or move slowly toward the, to the nozzle and extrude some filament. We should see it come out very soon. Here you see, we are pushing out some of the, the flex, and here comes the PLA. So, that is uh, my scripts, and of course it works with these three uh, uh, filaments, it's exactly the same. Just be aware that on, on the flexible filament, you absolutely need to, to, to be more careful. Remember the 40 millimeters, so when you can put it in even the flexible it works with the flexible as well then you can uh, then it will work uh, almost uh, automatic when when you push the button so um, yeah that should be an easy way to load and unload different types of filament with the bond tech extruder on the end of tree so uh, enjoy and happy printing bye bye <laughs>